crushed skull, instant death. Lady Collide organizes an auction where young girls are being sold as slaves to wealthy owners. However, two of the girls present at the auction turn out to be professional assassins, Dia Viekone and Tarte. They waste no time in taking out everyone around them and save the imprisoned girls. They are observed by their boss, Lu Tuatha De, and his accomplice Maha. In a flashback to an alternate world, we see two assassins taking down certain members of the mafia. The rookie wants to kill everyone, but her boss doesn't want to accomplish more than what his organization has instructed him to carry out. Suddenly, they are spotted by a drone and try to escape it, but their van is destroyed. This just turns out to be a distraction as the two of them have already managed to get out of it. The rookie and her boss discuss his past and he talks about how he was raised to kill ever since he was a child. He calls his organization and tells them about his plans to retire and become a trainer for new assassins. The rookie grows restless, but her boss reminds her that she's still a novice, so she needs to be more careful. They get new identities as Alan and Mila and fly to Japan. However, the flight is hijacked and the boss realizes that he has been betrayed by his own organization now that he's retiring. The plane crashes and he breathes his last after regretting his life as a tool. However, he is summoned by the goddess Ahem. She offers him the choice to be reborn in a fantasy world with his memories intact in exchange for promising to kill the hero of this fantasy world. She endows him with knowledge of this new reality and explains that the hero of this world will save it from a demon lord 16 years from now but will go crazy and kill everyone 2 years after that. After a detailed discussion, both of them decide that the hero must be killed only after he defeats the demon lord. But within two years after that, the assassin chooses five key skills after considering his possibilities, and then goes on to pick his attributes so that he can be powerful enough to assassinate the hero. Ahem promises him that he can live his life the way he wants if he simply fulfills his promise and he accepts. That's when we learn that this assassin is actually Liu. He is born in the kingdom of Alvan to the Tuatha Dei family and starts to train himself as soon as possible. He becomes a great cook so that he can maintain a healthy diet for his growth and also uses his material knowledge from his past life to make the most of the resources in this world. His life goes smoothly and then we learn that his father Xian is an assassin for the royal family. Xian approves of Liu's progress and grants him mystic eyes that allow him to sense people with mana. Later, Lu's mother Esri dresses him up for his meeting with his magic teacher who turns out to be Dia. During their classes, Dia is surprised to see the excessive amount of mana that Lu possesses and his parents are happy with his abilities. Lu learns about far stones that are used to store mana and asks Dia for more of them, but she forbids him, saying that they are only limited to the Viekoni family. Now, Dia helps Lu with attribute conversion and teaches him how to cast spells. Lu shows precision with his skills but pushes himself even more as he has to be ready for the hero. After working some more with Dia, Lu is able to create his own spells and help her achieve the same. They team up and manage to create weapons like guns and tanks using magical spells. Dia grows closer to Lu and he offers her a titanium knife to thank her for being his tutor. In exchange for this gesture, Dia also gives him a far stone. They promise to help each other out whenever needed and Dia leaves. Now Xian takes Lu to a prison where he is made to carry out his first skill and he does so with minimal effort. The kingdom starts to reap the benefits of Lu's modern methods and he is celebrated for it. However, Lu starts his search for an assistant with the right mana who can help him defeat the hero. Later, he goes to the forest and finds a girl under attack from a pack of wolves. He saves her and learns that she has been abandoned by her family due to financial reasons. He gives her some food and offers her a chance to live with him if she agrees to help him with his mission. The girl readily agrees even though Lu has his own motivations for saving her. She is revealed to be Tarte and she expresses gratitude to Lu for his kindness. In a flashback, Ahem is shown to carry out the same kind of deal with a soldier but as time passes by, he turns out to be a waste. A couple of years later, Lu and Tarte are much closer to each other as Tarte has settled into the family. Lu trains her the same way he was trained, and she becomes exceptionally good with the collapsible spear he has made for her. We learn that Ahem has been summoning multiple souls and tasking them with the same mission as Lu, but none of the others have made any progress. Tarte and Lu go to the marketplace, and Lu is met with a lot of affection. However, he tells Tarte that his generosity is just a strategy 
he must use to win the approval of his people. He has also been making flower stones to collect mana by using the one he was given by Dia. Sian questions Lu about Tarte's reliability, and he fully vouches for her in order to avoid her assassination. Sian decides to test Lu's skills by taking him on in a mock test. He uses all kinds of tactics to tackle his son, but Lu eventually comes out on top after carefully calculating his dad's strategies. Satisfied with his son's progress, Sian declares that 